Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving a fun little geometry problem. So I have an equilateral triangle, and inside the equilateral triangle are three boxes. Um, they're all squares. One is a side length of x, one has side length of 2x, and one has side length of 3x. And if you look at our picture here, you'll notice that they intersect, or they hit these sides of the equilateral triangle at these points right here. Okay. Uh, so if you want to give this a shot, try to figure out what x is, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into a solution. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this bottom side here. And I know that since this is an equilateral triangle, my side length down here is going to be 1. So what does that mean? That means that 1 is going to be equal to whatever this guy is. So I'll name him A, and I'll name this guy B. So A plus x plus 2x plus 3x plus b. So I can kind of simplify that just a little bit to get a plus b plus 6x. Okay, um, so now let's look at another little thing. So since this is an equilateral triangle, I know that all of my angles are going to be 60 degrees. So I notice that I have a triangle over here that has a and x and a 60 degree. And I have a triangle over here that has b and 3x and a 60 degree angle. And these guys are going to be similar triangles. So since they're similar triangles, um, I'm going to be able to go ahead and say that x over a, so the long over the short, is going to be equal to 3x divided by b. And that's because they're similar triangles. So if I cut those out, all of a sudden this simplifies. And now I know that b is equal to 3a. Okay, um, so if b is equal to 3a, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and look at our equation here. So now that I know b is 3a, let's look at this triangle again. And what is sine? So if I look at a triangle that has 60 degree angle, so this is the only trigonometry besides um, that you're going to need to know for today. So sine of 30 degrees, or 60 degrees, sorry. That's one of the two triangles we should definitely have memorized. It is going to be root 3 divided by 2. And tangent, or sorry, and cosine of 60 degrees is going to be 1 half. So if I want tangent of 60 degrees, that's going to be root 3 over 2 divided by 1 over 2, which is just square root of 3. So a lot of people already had that memorized, but I just want to kind of talk through that just a little bit. Um, but these guys we had memorized, the sine and cosine of 60 degrees, and we were able to get the tangent real quick. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that the y over x, and this is a, a different x, is going to be square root of 3 in that triangle. So this x is not the x that's in my shape, so we'll call it x star. Okay, so what does that tell me? That tells me that x over a is going to be equal to square root of 3, which tells me that a is equal to x over the square root of 3. So this is a pretty good start. So b is equal to 3 times a, so b is going to be equal to square root of 3x. All right, so now we can go ahead and get some work done here. So let's look back at this equation right here. And now I have 1 is equal to x over the square root of 3 plus square root of 3x plus 6x. And we can combine things um, into a little bit better um, format here. Um, and we'll notice here, so this is the same as root 3x over 3. So I can combine 
or rearrange this just a little bit to say y is equal to 4 root 3 over 3x. So I just combined this term and this term plus 6x, which is equal to x times 4 root 3 over 3 plus 6. Okay, and now I'm about ready to solve for my x. So now I know x is going to be equal to 1 divided by 4 root 3 over 3 plus 6. Um, and that's going to be my answer, but obviously it's, it's nicer if we can try to clean this up just a little bit. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1 over 4 root 3 plus 18 over 3. So this is going to be x is equal to 3 over 4 root 3 plus 18. You might want to get your um, radicals out of the denominator. If you do, how do we do that? So we can multiply the top and the bottom by 4 root 3 minus 18. And that's going to end up giving us x is equal to 12 root 3 minus 54 divided by 4 root 3 squared, so 16 times 3, which is 48, minus 18 squared. Uh, sorry, I didn't write that down. I don't have a calculator. So 4, 6, so uh, four, 144 plus 180, 324. Okay. And... Uh, now when we go ahead and multiply that out, we're going to end up getting x is equal to, um, let's reverse it, so I'm going to get 54 minus 12 root 3 divided by 324 minus 48, which is going to be 276. And then we can go ahead and factor out a 6, so I'm going to do 1 6 on the top and 1 6 on the bottom. So my final answer here is going to end up being 9 minus 2 square root of 3 divided by 46. And that is going to be our most simplified version of our solution. So it turns out that if we have these three boxes in this triangle, how big, are, how big is our x value in each of these? Well, if we have a side length of 1 on our equal lateral triangle, our x is going to be 9 minus 2 root 3 over 46. So, I hope you enjoyed working through this problem with me. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have an idea for a video, please submit it to thinkthriceproblemsolving at gmail.com. And as you're working through problems, think once, think twice. And if you really get stuck, think thrice.